already checking me out it's just a bunch of cows but there is one bull out here that kind of gave me the run around last time I came so maybe he won't feel the need to come check me out we'll see I do have permission on this spot I'm not just jumping somebody's random fence I just don't have a key so gotta do what I gotta do and everybody's starting to check me out already. Good grief. There we go. Ah, little bass. Little bass, it came off. Let's see. Probably the same bass. Not bad. First catch of the day. And there he goes. Ain't really looking to catch any bass. I probably should have threw that one or kept it on the bank. Because this pond does not get fished very much. So, And the landowner has asked me to uh, throw them on the bank. So hopefully the quality of fish will go up. Because there's a lot of dinks in here out eating the big guys there we go i don't know if y'all got to see that but man he blew up on that thing that's what i'm talking about <laughs> oh these things are huge come here buddy yes sir big mom in the house all right we can eat on this Hard to grip these things without getting stuck because they're so flipping big. There we go. I'll let you guys see her. These things are so big you can lip them. Pretty, pretty fish. Talk about some eating. We eating tonight, boys, girls. We eating. All right, let's get this thing on screen and catch some more. Hit it top water. Cause she hungry. Cause she hungry. All right, big mama. Don't get ate by no turtles. That's a fish. I'm calling it. Got a little bite. There she is. Come on, big mama. Eh. Medium mama. Hey, then. One way to get a hook in your hand. The old comb down. And Pretty little thing. Thank you for participating. like that two on the stringer pretty good size first one's real big oh snap all right guys here are the cows not what i wanted to deal with today 
Oh man. They clearly are ready to come down here and get a bite to or a sight bite. Something to drink. And this one is coming right at me. I don't like the way he or she is looking at me. So I'm about to move. Bull one. Garrett zero. Already been punked out by the bull. <laughs> He's the only bull out here, but he clearly don't care if I'm fishing. I just don't want to get chased around this dang bar. Trying to eat too, hoss. There's one. Don't feel like much weight. There we go. Get this thing in here. Nah, that ain't a keeper. Yeah, it's not a keeper. Dang gummit. Freaking rock. I'm ready to catch some fish now. I'm catching one right here. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, take it. There we go. Gotta set the hook a little better. There we go, come on. Come on with it. Come on, stay on there. A little brim. Come on, what we got, what we got? Oh yeah, we eating. Oh yeah. Come on, give me a flop for the camera. Booyah! There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Bass? Guarantee it's a bass, yep. That gum you. Ah, pretty good sized bass. For a dink. Eating the minnow. Somebody's hungry today. All right. Barely hooked you. Gonna let this guy go back in here. Thanks, buddy. Off you go. Golly, Pete. Another missed fish. There we go. If I don't lose him. Come on, baby. What do we got? Oh, crappie! And a pretty good one. Sammy! Let's go! Mwah. Let's go, baby. Mwah. Mwah. Put it on the stringer. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we just want. Come get a bite of the day. 
the hungry mamas are out to play. go oh heck yes heck yes that's a hungry mama that's a hungry mama yeah. check this out let's get this thing golly Pete big you just about lip it wish I could show you this thing a little bit Look at that hungry mama. Look at that fish. That's way bigger than my hand. Look at that thing, y'all. We might get to eat after all. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ah, put him on the stringer. Let's go. Just a little bit more before we get soaked. I do much better jigging these things instead of just reeling them in like an idiot. I'm gonna try to keep using this same strategy. All right. There we go. Come on. Stay on. Come on, stay on, that's a brand. Come on, come on. Holy seaweed. That's an eater, that's an eater. Oh yeah, bigger one I thought. Cha ching Look at this baby turtle, dude. He's hurt, or not hurt, but he's somehow got plucked out of the water. Look how cool. Y'all wanna talk about some bait? You can catch a toad bass with this guy. Pretty thing. P-Y-T. Pretty young thing. You need some loving. He said, throw me back in, idiot. P-Y-T. Pretty young thing. You need some loving. Pretty neat. All right, guys. Don't get ate by a big bass, please. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Phew, it's hot. My dang bait's got grass all over it. Storm's rolling in and I'm out here playing. Got something on. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bass. <laughs> yeah, it's a bass. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Pretty good size little bass. Man, something took a chunk out of him. Ah, yeah. Good job. Mwah. Well, man, thanks for letting me catch you, but you got to get a little bigger if you're going to go on the wall. And uh, normally don't eat your kind. So you're just lucky today, buddy. That's all I know to tell you. Golly, Pete. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Peace out, boss man. Pretty good size fish. Dang it! Turtle.
old turtle. Turtle, turtle. Peace out, little guy. Apparently that's where he wants to be because here he comes swimming right back. He just keeps getting turned over on his back. I don't know what his deal is. There we go, little bass. Little bass. I mean, little bass. Put him on a smoker. Settle down, big guy. My GoPro died on me, so uh, if this audio is good, I'll insert it in the video. But uh, that's what we're coming away with today. 10 brim and one crappie. The uh, footage I got today will determine once I get home and look at it if I have to come back for another day and just try to get some better film. But uh, yeah, about to bring these bad boys home and uh, get them filleted. There we go. Such a good looking fish. There we go. In a minute. In a minute, I'll be done. Maybe he'll eat a piece about the room. Here. Maybe he'll eat it. He ate it. Dude, I done gave you some. So it's the next day. I'm gonna try to get these fish cooked up real quick. Uh, most people fry them, obviously. I wanna do something a little different and uh, maybe even a little bit healthier. So I'm just gonna blacken them. Uh, I'll show you all my seasonings in just a second. But real quick, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this butter and I'm gonna pretty much split it in half. What I'm gonna do is throw it in the microwave and let it melt. Just like you take fish that you're gonna fry and you put it in buttermilk so that the uh, breadcrumbs will stick to it. We're gonna take this and dip our fillets in this melted butter so that our seasonings will stick to it a little better. So, I'm gonna throw this in the microwave. Put it on about 15 seconds. These are the seasonings I'm going to be using. Uh, Zatarain's blackened seasoning. This has red pepper, chili pepper, uh, salt, garlic, onion, everything but some cayenne pepper. So I'm going to put some cayenne pepper on it uh, at the very end. But just a little. I'm not going to kill it in this. And just a dash of some lemon pepper. To give it that lemon flavor but this is going to be the main what i really use to season the fish all right take our fillet take it in the butter dip that side dip that side onto the plate now what you could do i'm not that hungry but what goes good with this is if you take some white rice, boil it, take some of this lemon pepper right here, shake it into your rice, make sure you put butter in your rice too to make it a little creamy. Take some fresh cilantro, wash it, cut it up, put it in your rice, and then put your fish on that bed of rice. And it is delicious, absolutely delicious. You want to be generous with it. Don't be scared to. You're not going to overdo it. Make sure all of the fish is covered. Okay. 
thing. There we go. You can see how good it sticks after it's been in that butter. It really sticks to the fish. Gives it that good flavor. All right, let's flip it over. This extra butter that we've got left over over here will just go straight in the pan and uh, we'll cook it. Cook our fish in it. All right. All right. Now then, let's uh, keep this around in here and let's add our fish. All right. Good deal. There we go. And these bluegill or crappie are real flaky, so it's not going to take super long. And they'll already be getting cooked and flaking off. So we try to keep them from stacking on top of each other. All right. Back on the eye. I'm going to turn the heat all the way up. The ticket, guys, you do not want to cook these without having a lot of butter bottom of the pan that is the ticket it's keeping the fish from sticking the fish are able to be cooked and most importantly not only have you already added your seasonings to the fish but they're soaking in butter so that's going to make the fish that much better all right i hope you guys can see that man it smells great all right I'm gonna let them fish go on a little bit more and like i said i could cook some rice with this but i'm not that hungry i'm just gonna cook the fish today and uh not do the rice but you can do the rice and the rice is amazing with this what i'm gonna do with uh this lemon pepper and cayenne is just lightly sprinkling. I'm not gonna kill it. My Zataran season is gonna take care of my primary flavor, but I just want a little hint of that lemon taste. So I'm just gonna barely sprinkle it over it. Okay, then I'm gonna take my cayenne. I'm gonna sprinkle this just barely over it. I don't wanna kill it. All right, cayenne is pretty strong. Now then. good that's gonna do it for the video bluegill brim crappie pan fish catch clean cook um hope y'all liked the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and please 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 share the video it's gonna take a little while to get off the ground but uh this is what i'm gonna start doing because I'm in the outdoors a lot, so I just want to capture the the film and the things I see. I want to share them with others because I'm thankful for the outdoors and absolutely love being in God's creation. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And any, any of the merch you see in the video, I've got three hats right now. I've got this blue, I've got a cardinal red, and they both have the Southern Magnolia logo on them. You can buy them. You can message Southern Magnolia Apparel on Facebook or Instagram and buy a hat. And I also have a turkey hat, and um, it's brown with khaki back. So y'all see them all on the page. So check that out. And that's all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and thank y'all for watching. See y'all.